And here, you will appreciate that anybody who was in this room was not in a position to be a threat to anybody outside. So Mr. Quinn was neither armed with a firearm, neither was he armed with a knife. So they clearly stood from there and shot. I will just take you outside so that you can be convinced that the bullets came from inside. And like I said, nobody has come from the Ghana Police Force as yet. We're almost 24 hours later to investigate. Spots for the bullet, you can clearly see that they the direction from which the bullet was, was fired was from inside. There were one, two, three, and then four, five, six. All of them, you can tell from the metal that is bent outwards that the shooting came from the inside. I understand that the policeman was in a fight early in the afternoon. Like I said, I showed you the spot where he was in a fight early in the afternoon. He was, he was not on official duty, he was in civilian clothing, he got into a fight with some resident. The resident he got into the fight with is not the resident that he got shot. That, that, that got shot. He then got his squad, which was a special squad. It wasn't a squad that normally patrols the neighborhood. Um, the residents say that they believe that squad came from across the river. They came back at uh, 8.30 in the evening last night. They clearly came to look for, for who they thought the person was that was involved in the fight. They followed him, well not followed him, they weren't sure where he was, they came in. He clearly fled because he thought he was on the threat from the police and as it turned out justifiably so. And he was in this room when he was shot in his stomach. They took him away to the hospital and they came back and collected these spent shells from the scene. So here you actually have the police officers who were involved in the shooting of an unarmed citizen coming back and removing evidence from the scene in the, in, by way of spent shells. So of course the question of what type of weapons, uh, where those spent shells were, and why were the people who were involved in the actual shooting removing evidence from the actual scene. Do you think um, the police will again try to cover up this incident? Well, part of the reason that I've invited the yeah. press here is because we want to make it virtually impossible for them to cover up. I don't want to speculate as to what the police might do. We all know what the police have done in the past and we know what they're capable of doing. But at this stage, we want to make it impossible because we have gathered enough evidence to show that this man was not only shot at very close range, but he was shot with very high-powered uh, weapons in a position in which he was not capable of threatening the police. Mr. Hughes, the police sent out a release um, saying that the person that, that was shot, along with another person who had robbed the police officer, and that's what that was what caused the shooting. Um, you will interview the witnesses. The police officer got robbed when? The, the, this squad car came back here at 8.30 in the night. Don't know when this police officer got robbed, but assuming they say that the police officer got robbed, how does that justify five men, fully automatic weapons, coming into a small area and releasing rapid fire on him when he was not a threat to them? In addition to which, at no stage did the police ever make the allegation of robbery prior to this press statement after this matter had been publicized. Another thing, um, what was the police doing over there when he was robbed? Well, like I said, the police officer in plain clothes had a fight. He had a fight with a resident in the neighborhood in the afternoon. He clearly sent for a special squad. This is not the regular patrol squad. His squad came back. So this to me sounds like you know police officer using the police force for his private gain. Is the are you witnessing this that you have uh, willing to go to the police? And I am taking the eyewitnesses to the police station now so that we can make sure that this investigation results in the prosecution of the people who are responsible. Thank you.